So meditation is like riding a bike. No, really, it's like riding a bike. So all of us at some point have had to learn to ride a bike, I should think. Most people learn to ride a bike in the end. But when we first start, we might start with stabilizers on, or we'll have somebody holding the back of the bike, or we'll fall over a lot, and then we'll fall over a lot again, and we'll wobble. And meditation is a lot like that. By, so what do I mean by that? So what I mean is that uh, at first, lots of people come to meditation uh, with guided meditations. Now, guided meditations are great. They're lovely. They can be really relaxing, really soothing, um, really helping us get kind of in a focused state of mind. But they're like doing it with stabilizers on. So then when the guiding stops, we, we don't know what to do. We, we can't focus. We don't know where to go with it. But actually, it's perfectly possible, like learning to ride a bike, to do meditation without a guided meditation. So I'm making a series of videos here to help you kind of let go of those stabilizers. Sometimes it'll be really helpful. You'll be in a life, life is sending you lots of bumps and twists and turns in your road, and you'll want to go back to guided meditation. So that's absolutely fine. I'm not saying don't, but I'm saying if you want to go and find the real freedom that can come with meditation, might want to try and take the stabilizers off. So a couple of things to bear in mind with stabilizers and the things that I'm going to put in the videos are how do you get started when you first take them off? What are the different, that's a bit like trying a different bike. How do I learn to ride a bike? I need to get the right type of bike. So I'm going to do a series of videos and you can have a look at, are we going to try following the breath? Does that work for you? Some people it does, some people it doesn't. Is it more about body sensations? Some people definitely prefer scanning through the body. Uh, there are videos on that. Um, is it more about uh, visualizations? Do you like that? Or would you prefer to concentrate on the sounds that you hear or the things that you can see, direct contemplation? These are all really good, equally good different meditations and they like having different types of bikes. So you try them out. You see which one works for you. And it might be that in a while you've grown a bit, you've changed and you want to try a different one. So there are always ones that you can come back to, like different types of bikes. And then what about getting started? Well, it's very easy to get really discouraged when you first start, because what you find is when you take away the guiding, then your mind wanders. So there are videos on what to do with thinking, what to do when your mind wanders. Um, have a look at those. Uh, so those are the things that uh, I've made making as a series of videos to kind of help you take off these stabilizers. Now, another thing is about getting started. When you first get started, you want to make sure you've got the right kind of attitude. You don't want to give up straight away. If we give up the first time we wobble, the first time our mind goes elsewhere, the first time we can't stay in this mindset that we're looking for, we give up. And I would say, like riding your bike, it's going to take a bit of practice. It's going to take a few times, but really, everyone can do it. It's perfectly possible. So start small. Start for five minutes. Find somewhere comfortable. Get your setting right, like getting your bike seat right. Is it too high? Is it too low? So the same thing with your meditation. Find somewhere quiet. Find somewhere where you're not going to be disturbed. And don't, and, you know, don't be overambitious. So start off with five minutes, five minutes somewhere quiet and trying one of the different techniques that are there, but also keep going. So plan to do it every day, plan a little bit every day. Now, if you do all of those things, just like you learned to ride a bike, you will learn to meditate. So have a look at those videos. I hope it goes all right. Uh, there you go. Good luck learning to ride your bike, learning to meditate.